Hi there, this is getguardianfuckingon.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you crack a Windows password by brute forcing um, the SAM file. Um, typically Windows stores all passwords in an encrypted form in something called a SAM file. This SAM file, if you're run, already running Windows, you cannot read it, copy it, paste it whatsoever. So it's totally inaccessible. Um, how we're going to do this is we're going to use a Linux boot disk and we're going to copy the SAM and system files over to a flash boot disk. And after this, we're going to copy them back over into Windows, running version, and use a program called SAM Inside to um, retrieve the hashes and then brute force them. Now, when um, the SAM file and your passwords are typically stored in two forms of hashes that's NT hash and LM hash. The LM hashes are much easier to crack. So when running the program, that's pro what's probably going to get like, our first crack. Now then, on to booting up Linux and copying the files over. Right now, so I'm going to insert the Linux boot CD while my computer's just booting up. But I've already got my computer set to um, boot from CD, and that's vital you have that already done otherwise it's just gonna load up windows and um, need to do that you're gonna need to go into your bios and change it there if you haven't already got that and um, my computer's pretty slow it's only 1.6 gigahertz processor so it might take a bit to load up um, and obviously because it's running off the cd again it's a full os well like a trial version so again it's gonna take a bit ok here we go and um, we're gonna select the top option um, that that law like launched a live version of Linux. Um, just got to wait for it to load now. Ooh. My camera's a bit shit when filming computer screens, so that could, might occasionally go a bit blurry. Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead in a minute because it's gonna take a while to load up. Oh, here we go, skips ahead. Um, so it should be loading up now. It's gonna take a while again, like I said. It has to load straight off a CD and not, into, not from a hard drive. Um, it will load up various features and then the desktop. It should automatically detect my flash disk when I plug it in. Here we go. Like I said, my computer's pretty shit until I get my new one, but does the job I guess. Oh here we go, it's loading up the desktop now. Right, it's loaded up um, the main explorer window. Um, I'm going to plug in my boot disk, well, my, sorry, my flash disk now. Um, it'll automatically come up on the desktop. Um, just as it looks like it's exactly the same as a hard drive, but with Linux it'll give you um, a small USB image to know to show it's um, removable. I'm just going to plug it in. Right, it's in. Right, basically it's going to pop up in a second. Yep, it's there. Right, open up the main window. Now you've got a... Well, like, I've got two hard drives in my computer. So I'm going to have to search through both of them, see which one's my one that boots up Windows. No, that's my other one. Um, must be this one then. Yep, that's it. You can see just by the normal Windows folders. Right, we're going to Windows folder. Open that up. We want to be in Windows System32 config directory. That's where your SAM file is stored and the system file. Um, just let me have a look for it. Yeah, System32 is there. Right, get on that. Right, it might take a bit to load up because remember it's loading up from the hard drive and not from the CD. This might even take longer. And like I said again, my computer is pretty shit.
come on. Any second, oh, there we go. Right, config directory I want to be in. Um, not then. Ah, there it is. Right, ah, there's your SAM file. That's what your passwords are stored in. You also need the system file, otherwise, the SAM file won't, won't boot up with, with SAM inside. Oh, it, because I'm on my video camera now, I can't control and co well, select them both to copy them. So um, I'm gonna have to put my video camera down a second. Um, yeah, more than it. <laughs> so as you can see, I've slipped them both. Now a little bit of crap on the lens there. Um, as you see, I've slipped them both. Now I'm gonna just simply copy them over to my flash drive. Um, exit out of this. Right, now on to cracking them in Windows. So here we are, I've got my Windows load up and this is Sam Inside. Now well, Sam Inside will retrieve all the hashes I'm gonna need and it automatically has brute force and a dictionary attack already built in. So now I'm just gonna import them, import them straight off my flash drive. Like that, there's my Sam. It's gonna ask me if I want my system one. There we go. Um system there. Right, and it shows you all the user accounts on the left here. No, I'm going to use a tester one because that's the one I've already made and the other ones can actually contain my real passwords which I don't want anyone to know. So I've got my tester, it's going to take a few seconds, it's a very common password. Right, there we go, it's, look it's already going to brute force the LM hashes and it's got um, brute force attack. Start attack, password's found. As you can see the password is mouse. Um, the, as you can see here, the LM hashes, um, the passwords are always stored uppercase. That's one of the more like, benefits of cracking the yellow hash